The final Sunday night showcase of this SFL regular season starts off with a South Division showdown. Two teams separated by less than four hours of highway meet for the second time this season with a ton of Texas-style postseason intrigue. And he makes a huge play. Loss of 13. Now Dunhill tries to get it all back oh. and gives it all away. Interception. Another one for this great Houston takeaway defense. And they will have the ball in plus territory. Isabella Blackwell has her seventh. The standout safety made that tackle for the headhunters. Empty set here for Marcus Dunhill. Has all day. Throws over the middle. First down and a whole lot more. Great catch and a big gain for Mike Caker, the number four wide receiver for the Toros. This year, Kate Stevens has taken on a bigger role. As we mentioned, he's the team's leading receiver now with over 900 yards. Dunhill into the basket, perfect throw. And there is the veteran, Robert Garrett Jr., close to 600 receiving yards now for the Cowboy. Remember, Fort Worth has three star tailbacks, including Jay-Z Bacon. It will give it Williams, touchdown, Toros. Jason Williams has his 10th. Rushing touchdown. He's been big this first quarter. There are two dismal seasons where they combined for seven wins over the last two years. Already seven wins banked here this season. Burr right oh. into the hands. There he goes. Sicario atones right into his hands. He was going for DR Sim that time. He'll be waiting from the wings, and there is some of that to be sure. But honestly, in this matchup, there's, there's not that much nuance as Dunhill throws over the middle, wide open into traffic, and a big gain out across the 45-yard line to Robert Garrett Jr. It's two yards per carry, but... Better than seven yards per catch so far here this afternoon. They'll run it on second and short. Williams right tackle. That'll help the average. First down out to the 36. Even if they lose today. But we'll more on that in a second as Dunhill throws. Nice catch out to the 20-yard line. 16 yards for number 16. But they could fall all the way down to the 12th seed. They could go anywhere from 4 to 12 based on results today. Dunhill to the end zone. And it's caught. Back of the end zone, Robert Garrett Jr. has his third touchdown of the season. Fort Worth doubles the lead. Wow, what a great route by Robert Garrett Jr. He split the defenders within the middle of him all by himself in the back of the end zone. Hey, double digits for him on that one. Houston across midfield, trailing by 14. Burr again will fire right sideline. Oh. St. Green with the step behind Delaney Nash. And Mike St. Green has his eighth Receiving touchdown with his new team. Houston's right back in it. Now, Zakaria just watched, you know, watched him march by him, fly by him, really, and he got behind Zakaria and Nash and just perfect throw by Burr, and he's in the end zone. Just a testament to how much Houston has had to reshape this team and the success they've had doing it. Dunhill lofts it up. One-handed catch across midfield. Wow, what a grab that was. Welcome to the league, Charlie Baker. I was having trouble seeing the number at first. I thought it was Hacker, but it was like, nope, that's not Hacker. <laughs> Houston shifts. They bring four on the line. Again, they have six starters in the secondary. Not uncommon to see them bring all of them out. There's a nice catch, and right on cue, Stephen Hacker has his first grab of the day all the way out to the 30. Started his career in Queen City and came over to join Fort Worth with Sicario. Now Dunhill under pressure. He's going to tuck it and run, and he slides for a first down. He says he's I don't never think I've ever seen Dunhill run before. So. Neither have I, and he's a Hall of Fame quarterback in this league. Third and four from the 15. Dunhill more traditional that time, and a first down for the Toros. Second catch on this drive for Charlie Baker. Hmm. Five on the line. Now they send extra pressure. Dunhill floats it to the end zone. Touchdown. Steven Hacker. He's got his sixth. And the Toros strike again. And over 1,400 total yards of offense this season. Second and three. Burr's Ooh. throw is behind his target, but it's caught. The only player not named Simmer St. Green to catch one from Dave Burr. Wells with running room left tackle and a huge hole for G.P. Wells. Regier, the rookie linebacker, makes the stop. But McCool gets the catch. Only two carries for the fullback this year, and he will lead the way for Wells, who breaks through a tackle. Oh. Wells to the sideline. Touchdown. His 20th rushing touchdown this season. It's a, it's a unique setup. Fort Worth has those two-star tailbacks, but Bacon really does not get him any touches. They'll run it. This is Williams. Williams loses the ball. It's still on the ground, and who's got it? I think, I think Houston's got it. got it. 
and the third lost fumble this season for Thrilliams if this stands. 43 got the big hit, like you said, Corey Minner. Give him a TFL there, his 11th this season. Third down for Burr, throws wide open. First down, Isaiah King the fourth has his fifth catch of the season, or at least their winter, I guess. Third and seven, low snap, Burr will blast it. Left sideline, rip down, DR Sim. From the four, Burr will throw it now. To the end zone, oh. wide open, touchdown, Greg Corky. Stepping up in the absence of Mike St. Green, and Houston is a PAT away. No, out of bounds, they say. Um, I thought he was in, but let's look at the replay. Oh, I mean, no, he's in. He's in. Here we go. Could be a crucial moment in this game. Yeah, he's in. There you go. And it's a delayed reaction for Houston, but now the reaction comes. Greg Corky has his third touchdown of the season. The great Rochelle Colson with Stephen Hacker, Zach Caldorf, Cameron Irvine behind the scenes. I'm Tim Hackett. Thanks for joining us. The first of four games here, on the final day of the SFL regular season. GP Wells gets the toss, the spin move from GP Wells, and a gain of 13 out across midfield from just over enemy territory. They will throw it. Burr, sliding catch is made by Corky, and now a flag oh, a comes hit. in. Yeah, late hit for sure. Close to 150 all-purpose yards now in this game for Wells. It's close to 1,500 all-purpose yards this season. Burr will throw to the end zone. Diving oh, catch. Another yes. late hit. Touchdown, DR Sim. And Houston has the lead with a flag. Dang it. I mean, DR Sim just shot down the middle of the field. Got himself wide open and a great pass. And Williams rushed 20 times for 35 yards. A lot better for him today, but he's off the field on third down oh, as Dunhill's no. pass is tipped and picked off. And back the other way goes Josh Rowe, who has his 11th interception of the season. Looking for number eight and a chance at a first round bye. Burr lofts it right sideline oh. and ripped away. Sicario has another one, and this is returnable. And a tackle made on Nacho Sicario, dueling interceptions for these two QBs. They bring in the dime back as well. It's Angel Maldonado. Third down. Dunhill's pass is caught. Third down and three for Fort Worth. Trips to the top. Williams in the backfield. Dunhill goes this way, and it's caught. First down inbounds, they say. Look at Houston pack this line. Stevens went out of bounds, stopping the clock. Dunhill will throw. There is Williams out of the backfield. First down for Jason Williams. He's fresh, I guess, Rochelle. Toro's trying to play catch up here today. Dunhill, oh, what a pass. Right on the money, Robert Garrett Jr. 30 interceptions thrown this season for the Hall of Famer. Can he rally the troops? Dunhill to the end zone, caught! Steven Hacker strikes again, and Fort Worth is a PAT away from tying this thing back up. So as DR Sim, who's at the top of the screen. Burr will throw it down the middle. Sim across midfield and to the Fort Worth 44. Burr's completion percentage has plummeted here in this quarter. He'll throw it again. Oh. Diving catch. Another big gain. DR Sim with another grab inside the 25. So they'll go offset eye with McCool as the fullback. And Wells, in his first year with Houston, gets the give and running room for Wells. Spin move for Wells Ooh. and taken down by Regier at the one-yard line. First and goal from the one, and Sonny J will come out for a field goal. The first by either team today. One of just a handful of league kickers to have not missed a field goal this season, and J is good from 17. He is 24 of 24. Marcus Dunhill, the Hall of Famer from his own 23. He will bomb it down the sideline. It's caught by Stephen Hacker, but he stays in bounds, and that's the game. Hacker wow. is stopped in bounds. Houston sweeps the regular season series, and the headhunters don't capitulate. They're into the playoffs for the first time since season 15.